Exodus 4 Signs of the Lord's Power But Moses protested again. What if they don't believe me or listen to me? What if they say, The Lord never appeared to you? A shepherd's staff. Moses replied, Throw it down to the ground. The Lord told him, so Moses threw it down to the ground. The staff turned it into a snake. Moses jumped back. Then the Lord told him, reach out and grab the tail. So, so Moses reached out and grabbed it. And it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Perform this sign, the Lord told him. They will believe that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, And the God of Jacob really has appeared to you. The Lord then, then said to Moses, Now put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses put his hand inside his cloak. When he took it out again, his hand was was white as snow. With severe skin disease. Put your hand back in your cloak. The Lord said so. Moses put his hand back in his back in. And when he took it out again. It was healthy like the rest of his body. The Lord said to Moses, If they don't believe you and are not convinced by the first miracle sign, they will be convinced by the second sign. And if they don't believe or listen to you, even with these two signs, then take some water from the Nile River, pour it, pour it onto the dry ground. When you do, the water from the Nile will turn to blood on the ground. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, O oh Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been. And I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I got tongue-tied and my words got tangled. Verse 11. <laughs> Then the Lord said to Moses, Who makes fun a person's mouth? Who decides whether a person speaks or does not speak, hear or does not hear, see or does not see? It is not I, the Lord. Now go, I will be with you as you speak, and I will instruct you in what to say. Verse 13, but Moses again pleaded, Lord, please send someone else. Then the Lord 
became angry with Moses. All right, he said. What about your brother, Aaron, the Levite? I know he speaks well. And look, he is on his way to meet you now. He will be delighted to see you. Talk to him. And put the words in his mouth. I will be with you both as you speak. I will instruct you both in what to do. Verse 16. Aaron will be your spokesperson to do the people. He will be your mouthpiece. And you will stand in the place of God for him. Telling him what to say. And take your shepherd staff with you and use it to perform these merit magares signs I have shown you. Verse 18. So Moses went back home to Jethro, his father-in-law. Please return. let me return my relatives to Egypt, Moses said. I don't even know if they are still alive. Go in peace, peace Jethro said. Before Mo Moses left Maiden, the Lord said to him, Return to Egypt for all those who wanted to kill you have died. So Moses took his wife and sons, put them on a donkey, and headed back to the land of Egypt. In his hand he carried the staff of God. And the Lord told Moses, When you arrive back in Egypt, go to Pharaoh, perform all these miracles I have empowered you to do. But I will harden his heart so he will refuse to let people go. Then you will tell him, This is the Lord said, what the Lord said, Israel is my firstborn. I command you, let my son go. He can worship me. But since you have refused, I will kill your firstborn son. Verse 24. On the way to Egypt, at a place where Moses and his family had stopped for the night, the Lord confronted him and was about to kill him. But Moses' wife, Zipporah, took a flint knife and said, Circumstance sized her son. She touched his feet with the forsaken and said, Now you are a bright room of blood to me. She went, she, when she said, 
a back, a bright groom of blood. She was re referring to the circumcision. After the Lord left him alone. Verse 27. Now the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So Aaron went into the wilderness to meet Moses and the mountains of God. And he embraced him. Moses told Aaron, then told Aaron everything the Lord had commanded him to say. And he told him about the miracles signs the Lord had commanded him to perform. Verse 29. Then Moses and Aaron returned to Egypt and called all the elders of Israel together. Aaron t told them everything the Lord had told Moses. And Moses performed the miracles signs as Then Moses returned to Egypt and called all the elders of Israel together. Aaron told them everything the Lord told Moses. And Aaron performed miracles, miraculous signs as they watched. Then the people of Israel, of Israel were convinced that the Lord had sent Moses and Aaron when they had heard the Lord was concerned about them and had seen, seen their misery. They bowed down and worshipped. Thank you for listening to this chapter. I know I read kind of slow, but this helps me a lot. Thank you and God bless.